This trip took us into Lower Zuma Canyon off of the Pacific Coast Highway in the, in the Malibu area. The trail began off of a dirt parking area off the end of a residential street. Actually, there are several trails that began at this point, going up into the canyons and into the mountains. So Jack finds himself ready to start along the trail. As does Hiker Dale also. Most of the travel along the start of the trail is uh, along the floodplain coming out of uh, Zuma Canyon. In several places we cross the dry stream bed of the stream that comes out of Zuma Canyon. And then the trail begins to start down towards the entrance to, to Zuma Canyon. Where Dale wends his way along the trail occasionally having to sidestep some horse droppings along the way. And then we reach a trail junction with the Zuma Loop Trail. However, we're going to continue on the Zuma Canyon Trail, even though it does say that the trail will end in seven-tenths of a mile. And beyond this trail junction, the trail starts to wend its way down towards the beginning of the canyon itself. And we also run into a, a couple of horseback riders along the trail. And then we reach the canyon bottom and find this dry stream bed. We also find that there is no longer any more trail. And the only way to go forward was boulder hop along the stream bed. This turned out to be a fairly daunting task, so after a while of struggling up the stream, we decided it was about time to turn around and go back. So off we went, backtracking along the trail we came up. And then when we reached the junction with the Zuma Loop Trail, we decided to take it as our route to re return to where we began. This turned out to be a pretty good choice because as it climbed up the sides of the hills it began to give us a pretty good look around. At one point we can look down and see the trail down in the floodplain below that we took heading towards the canyon itself. There's also another trail that traverses the mountains on the other side of Zuma Canyon, which we might come back and try some other time in the future. But then the loop, this loop trail continues on and starts down again towards the bottom of the canyon. At one point, if you look carefully down there, you begin to see Dale on the trail below. And then one last look out towards the ocean, which you can't really see on this overcast day. But nevertheless, it turned out to be a pretty good hike. 